In this video, I will demonstrate how to conduct a WAN analysis. WAN analysis is useful for determining the speed at which peplink products are functioning at different sites. Therefore, more than one peplink device is required to conduct a WAN analysis. In general, it is useful for network architectures where a router in one site has a fixed or public IP and a router in another site is connected with a NAT cellular IP. It is a crucial resource that Peplink has implemented for evaluating real-life situations, such as analyzing the connectivity speeds between a company's HQ and branch, or even branch-to-branch -branch connectivity. Through InControl2, you can now test WAN speeds between two Peplink devices. This is different from other speed tests, as those usually test the router's connection speed to the internet. If you're unsure whether your speed fusion connection isn't fully optimized, or you're wondering if your connection has some room for improvement, then conduct a WAN analysis. In this demo, I will be using my Balance20x as the server and the Max HD2 as the client. The first step is to open up your web administration page for both devices. For the Balance20x tab, I will head over to System and then go to WAN Analysis on the bottom left. Then, since my Balance20x is the server and has a public IP address, I will select As a Server. Then for the Max HD2 device, you can do the same thing. Click System and then go to WAN Analysis on the bottom left. This time I have to press As a Client instead, as the Max HD2 is acting as a client in my network infrastructure. Now you can copy the WAN address for WAN1 on the Balance tab and paste it in the Remote IP Address section on the Max HD2 tab. If you have multiple WANs or cellular connections, you can also conduct performance analysis for those as well. As I have a cellular connection on my Max HD2, I will also put the WAN IP address in a tab for Cellular 1. This will test how fast both the cellular and WAN connection on my Max HD2 connects to the WAN on my Balance20x, meaning it will show how fast my Max HD2, which is the client, is able to communicate and interact with my Balance20x, which is the server. Once you paste the remote IP address from the Balance tab to the Max HD2, then you can select the type of analysis or test that you want to conduct. So, you can select either TCP or UDP, and you can select the direction that the data will flow, whether it will test the upload or download speed. Finally, you can also alter the duration of the test. In this case, I have opted to conduct the default 20 second test. Once the test is over, you can analyze the results. The results will be displayed in both a table and a graph. These results show the bandwidth throughput for the specific WAN analysis you opted for earlier.